hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to my workout we are continuing our workout challenge which is a six day challenge with a different workout series that you can do pretty much anywhere because it's a minimum equipment it's only 20 minutes but trust me if you really engage yourself in this 20 minutes thinking of the muscles that you are working on and really do the work it's more than enough Let's go guys, let's do this. First of all, I wanna tell you that today we will be focused mostly on lower body, our legs and glutes. We love to work those glutes, who doesn't, right? So it will be a little incorporation of Pilates, weight training and a little bit of cardio. And of course, we're gonna also add some stretch. We're also gonna use equipment, which is a bala weight that I'm gonna bring you and show you now. Okay guys, so we're gonna be uh, working today with bala weights, which is two pounds each. So four pounds total is great for arms and for legs and for overall the body also i'm having a set of bands uh, that you can find anywhere i love to travel with those because those are so light i also sometimes travel with the weights so it's a, really all you need is these two things let's go i'm also want to apologize ahead of time for the noise because of course as soon as i start to film the gardeners come uh, with the leaf blower so anyway guys let's get it so let's start with a little stretch i always start my workouts with stretch we're gonna focus our stretch on mostly lower body since we are working working it today so let's just start with planking and cobra take a little stretch downward dog paddle your feet warm up those toes Take a really good deep stretch. Brace. Walk your feet forward. Take another fold. Brace. You can also do flip your arms. I like to do that. It stretches shoulders very well. You can also paddle your gently your legs just to get a little bit of a deeper stretch very slowly. You can rock a little from side to side with your shoulders just like that. And put your arms down. Another deep fold and slowly, slowly rise. Breathe, down, let's stretch the legs, I'm going to start from stretching the left leg. Switch to another leg. Warm those legs up. Fold. You can um, grab your uh, shins and just pull it a little deeper. Stay here for a couple of press. Stretch my shoulders one more time. Go back. Slowly, slowly rise. Okay. Let's do another stretch. A little twist. Now you stretch inner leg. And you can take a little twist, gentle twist, to the opposite side. Just stay here for a couple of breaths. Come back, let's switch the legs. Feel the stretch. You can warm up your wrists. Go back to 
the position. Slowly walk back. And we are done with warm up. Let's uh, go into actual part of our workout. Okay, I think we're gonna start with a pretty simple flow, which doesn't involve any equipment. So we're just gonna do a simple squat. I like to start with those, just to warm up the legs. The most important thing is not to let your knees go uh, beyond your toes and also really put your mind on focusing on your glutes, not on your quads. If you wanna achieve the butt without overgrowing your quads, you have to focus when you work out on engaging your glutes rather than your legs. You can lift your toes just to make sure that your weight is exactly where it has to be. And when you come up, you have to squeeze really hard. Let's go. Next one, we're gonna go. This one is engaging a lot of balance, so you have to really try to stay in balance, which is always good to train. <laughs> so we're gonna work first right leg. Really engage your left when you are coming up. Really squeeze. Switching legs. I still have to work on my balance. It <laughs> doesn't seem like it's perfect. Okay, let it go. Now we're gonna do a little inner size. So you put your legs really wide apart, point your toes on the outside, and now we're just gonna do a simple squat. You have to focus on really engaging your inner size. Let's go. Tuck your butt in. Put your head, hands whenever you feel comfortable. I like to keep the, my hands on my hips or I like to fold them forward. Breathe, squeeze out the muscles when you come up. Okay, let it 
let it go. Okay guys, so now we're gonna add a little cardio just to get this heart rate up. So we're gonna do right, left. Also the abs are engaged here. Jump, right, left. I like to incorporate cardio in all of my routines. I see you standing there, a soothing atmosphere, smell of your aftershave. Mountain climbers, you flip around your head, hold it here, breeze. Know that I'm looking at you. You make me feel like I'm made of colors. Just now we're gonna do stand up, take a breath. At any time of the workout, if you feel like you need to take a little moment and stabilize your breath, that's totally fine. Take a breath, take a sip of water, come back to it. Let's go. We do high knees. Jumping jacks. Seconds. Almost there. Okay. I'm sure you feel nice and warm. Okay, take a little breath before we start to go on the floor and work out a little more booties. Okay, so let's uh, put our weights on our legs. I have quite limited space here because I really wanted to give you an example of working out in the hotel room or home or whatever you are. So we're gonna work around it. Okay, so let's start with working out left glute. So we're gonna come on the... How do you call this? <laughs> You're gonna come down and we're gonna start to lift our butt, sorry, our leg. Oh guys, I'm exhausted today. Very simple, but you really have to think on engaging this glute. When you come up, you take a second and you hold, hold, hold. Switch to another leg. Here is the goal to keep the core tight as well so you don't move as much your back. Keep the core tight. Bring your leg up and down, up and down. Okay, 
last move we will work inner size give a little butt a little break so we're just gonna circle it again here the goal is to keep your core tight circle it back Let's switch the side, keep the core tight, everything is tight, let's go one direction. Opposite side. to a side and we're gonna basically what we did with your butt facing down we're gonna face to the side and we're gonna work the side of the hip the whole leg breathe don't rush weights feels like 50 pounds now after a while okay let it go Whew, boy I feel it okay next we're gonna do a very simple move that works the front of your legs you're just gonna Shift the weight to the back. That's less dramatic. It's actually a great exercise for pregnant. I actually, when I was pregnant, I learned this exercise because when you're pregnant, you can't really jump and do a lot of things. So this is a good, gentle move for core and for legs. Breathe. This is our active rest, <laughs> if you can call it rest. Okay, now we're gonna add a plank. You guys know I love my planks. Let's hold for a minute. Tight everything in.
take a couple of breaths here. So for the next exercise, I'll be using this little chair. Just to give an example, you can also use a bed or anything really. So first we're gonna work the right leg. Again, make sure that your knee will not go beyond your toes. Keep your leg up. So we're gonna squat and up. Again, focus on working your glutes rather than working the quads. Here also you are working a balance as well, as you see. I have to have a little support sometimes. I'm still working on it. We can remove the weights now. We're gonna do finish strong. We're gonna finish strong with some extra cardio. So. How you guys feel? I definitely feel like I worked out today. Okay, let's give it a little stretch. Let's do a simple fold stretch. Trying to reach your toes, point everything. Breathe. Stretch the side. You are gonna feel the stretch here as well on the back. And your leg, of course, the back of your leg. Switch. You can also stretch to the front to stretch the inner side of your leg. So let's try to work on our split, I guess. 
I still don't have it, but I wish one day I will. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> Stretch. Let's switch. Slowly reach the right leg. Try to fold as much as you can. Unfold. Let's do a little yoga flow. Lift your leg. Pigeon pose. I love this pigeon pose. I feel like it's such a good stretch for your glutes. Fold. Stay here and brace. of it gently same way as we came in paddle the toes let's lift another leg stretch deep pigeon on the left side lay down and let's say for about five six breaths done i hope you guys love this workout that focused on glutes as you see we used very minimal equipment you can do it in your hotel room at home so follow me here subscribe to the channel stay tuned for another workouts that are coming out on the next posting day check the schedule here on my channel thank you so much for being here with me and let me know what you think about this video i love you all big kiss